2010 Kia Soul. We'll put another engine in it. And that's all good and fine. But when it comes time to start it. We got a big old nothing. It's in park. We'll put it in neutral. Uh -huh. we'll push the brake pedal down. Put it in neutral and same response. So let's put it back up in park. Pull the key out a little bit. And we'll go out here. And we're going to check it out. So what I'm going to do first is to take a test flight and check the battery voltage at the starter. We'll check for power anyway. It's a new battery. I'm going to take this test light and ground it. Need something that for sure is a ground. We know the engine is grounded so we can clamp it to this little spot on the block. All right, take the other end and go up to the starter. We can see it. I don't know. Yeah, there's the starter. I'm going to push the test light onto that post. Well, look at that. Got no voltage and no light. Maybe the test light is not good. I have another one. Or I could check this one. If it's no good, it's going in the garbage. That's for certain. Whew. Zoom out, zoom in, whatever. Wow. Anyway, I have another test light in case this one is malfunctioning. What has happened to this? There we go. All right. So, we hooked the uh, terminal. Wow. That is just so zoomed out. There we go. So, we hooked the ground terminal to the post and we check this and we see that that is just terrible lighting hold on let's see what's going on there we go See the little light light up. Well, I can. There we go. All right, so we know this test light is good. So we're going to go down here again. I guess I didn't have a good connection on the ground terminal. So we'll hook it back to the block. I had it before. Rub it around a little bit. And now we'll go back up here. Look at the camera up in the hole. There it is, right there. And we'll touch to the terminal on the battery. And we see that we got power down to the starter. All right, next, we'll get a jumper wire. After we've disconnected the uh, wire to the starter and 
go up in here and got to hook the jumper wire up to where the key switch goes to it. All right. Let me turn on the light so you can see too. There we go. And we're going to touch this jumper wire to the battery post of the starter. Doing that, absolutely nothing happens. All right. That should crank the engine over. So now. We hooked up a different test slide that you may have noticed up on the battery to the terminal on the starter that comes from the uh, ignition key. All right. This is going to test the circuit going to the starter from the ignition. So we hook the other end, one end to the uh, wire at the starter that goes to the starter, and the other end will go to the uh, to the battery. All right. We'll get back inside. And turn the key. And look at the light on the starter, I mean on the test light. You can't see it, but I can, and it's completing circuit. You can even hear the relay clicking. So we have a bad starter. So we got to remove the starter, and let's see if we can look in there. The starter. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is up in there. The starter is held on with two bolts that uh, go through the uh, the block. Let's see if we can see on this old block. I don't know why they go through the bell housing in that area. So, uh, we got to take the starter back off. First thing we do is loosen up the uh, battery cable and undo it so we don't have any shorts.